Hey kids, today I'm going to tell you an amazing story about the real life hero who loved freedom and justice. His name is José de San Martín and he was born in a small town called Chapechou on February 25th, 1778. Let's go on an adventure through his incredible life. Early years, once upon a time, in a loving family, there was a boy named José. He was the youngest of five siblings and his parents were Juan de San Martín and Gregoria Matorras del Cer. When José was very young, his family moved to Spain, where he began his journey as a soldier. At just 11 years old, he joined the Regiment of Murcia and started learning about being a disciplined soldier. A brave soldier, José was very brave and smart. He became a lieutenant colonel and even earned a gold medal for his bravery in the Battle of Aylen. But José wanted to do more. In 1811, he left the Royal Army to help people in America fight for their freedom. He traveled to London to plan his next steps, and then returned to Buenos Aires in 1812. Personal life When San Martín moved to Buenos Aires, he met a young aristocratic woman named Maria de los Remedios de Escalada. They fell in love at first sight and got married in 1812. A few years later, they had a beautiful daughter named Mercedes Tomasa San Martín Escalada, the hero of freedom. Jose organized a special group of soldiers called the Regiment of Horse Grenadiers. They were like superheroes, ready to fight for independence. On February 3, 1813, Jose won his first big battle at San Lorenzo. He then led the Army of the North, making them stronger and ready to fight. Crossing the Andes In 1817, Jose did something amazing. He led his soldiers across the huge Andes mountains which was a very difficult journey. They fought bravely and won the Battle of Chacabuco, helping Chile become free, liberating Peru. Jose's journey didn't stop there. In 1820, he and his soldiers landed in Peru. They fought hard and liberated Lima in 1821, declaring Peru's independence. Jose became the protector of Peru, guiding the new nation with wisdom and care. A noble decision. In 1822, Jose met another great leader named Simón Bolívar in Guayaquil. They both wanted freedom for all of South America. To keep the peace and unity, Jose decided to step back from his glory and let Bolívar continue the fight. Legacy Jose de San Martín was a true hero who believed in freedom and justice. His bravery and commitment helped many countries become free. He showed that one person with a big dream and a kind heart can change the world. 